Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you for today. Lord God, we thank you, Father, for your amazing power, Father. And Lord, we thank you, Father, for the work in our lives, Father. Lord, we thank you, Father, for your goodness, for your mercy, for your grace, and for your blessing over us, Father. Lord, thank you, Father, for your great love and your care, oh God. Thank you for your sacrifice so that we might uh, have freedom, oh God, and life, Father. Forgive us for when we don't thank you enough, Father. And Lord, most of all, forgive us for our sins, Father. And Lord, we just thank you, Father, for uh, who you are in our lives, for all that you do, Father, for all that you have given us, God. Help us to set our eyes, oh God, our hearts on you, Father, afresh, oh God. Lord, renew us, Father. Renew our spirits God fill us with your peace love and our in in your joy oh God and Lord we just thank you father that we love you father most of all that's the thing that we do father we love you father and we praise you father and Lord forgive us for not putting you first oh God Lord we need you father this day and this hour father each and every day and each and every hour oh God and Lord we give you praise and we give you thanks for you alone are worthy father and Lord we just Thank you, Father, for each and every day, Father. Lord, I thank you each and every day, Father. Lord, I thank you, Father, for my listeners, Father. Lord, I thank you, Father, for uh, this radio brand, Father. Lord, I thank you, Father, for uh, the radio executives, Father, moved by your spirit, Father, in their lives, Father. Lord, touch every heart that is uh, listening to us, Father, on today god meet every need father heal everybody's father touch every heart mind soul and spirit god move by your power god Lord, in their lives, Father. And Lord, I just thank you, Father, that you are continuing to raise up somebody somewhere to use their power, their ability, and oh, most of all, their influence to help each and every one of us, Father. And Lord, I just thank you, Father, for uh, calling out and being there, calling out uh, our names, Father, in rooms, Father, that uh, we haven't stepped foot in, calling our names po- uh, positively uh, in those rooms, Father, in meeting our needs, Father, in and uh, doing the work for us, Father, in rooms that we have not stepped foot in, Father. Lord, we lift your name on high in glory and magnify your name because it is in you that we live, move, and have our being. It is in your son Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Y'all, let's get started. It's time for an all-new broadcast of The Arch 3 Show. Let's go ahead. It's time to get started with today's show. We are all new and we're ready. Come on. Let's go. The RH3 show is all new. On Wednesday. It may be cold outside, but things are heating up today on the RH3 show. Nina Taylor got you covered with the Gospel News Plus. We're continuing with our Family Foundational Strength Series Part 3. And we also got our Kitchen Table Talk as well as a Health Minute. You don't want to miss today's show. It all starts right now here on the arch 3 show come on let's do it live from north carolina it's the rh3 show look i do no i do this for nobody but my cause because god first didn't my cause I've been down and I've been counted out. I've been overlooked. Because your, your listeners are, are, you know, international. They're worldwide. The RH3 show starts right now. I know I gotta praise because he set me free. The price that he paid free me at Calvary. So I'm gonna dance because. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. You know what? I just lost it. But anyway, what's go. <coughs> Excuse me. What's going on, everybody? Y'all, live moment. I just forgot the words, even though I've been hearing it in my ear or hearing this song for 12 years. What's going on, everybody? What's up? <laughs> I know I got a praise because he set me free. The price that he paid free me at Calvary. So I'm going to dance because there's no stopping me. Uh, 
because uh, I got changed because I got victory. Anyway, I just got a little brain freeze right there in the morning. But anyway, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on, everybody? This your boy Rufus. This your boy Red. Somebody, some people call me Red. R E R E D D. I am your ho- well, everybody, because I that my father gave me that name right at birth. Uh, for one, McCullough and two. Uh, well, one color at birth, and two, his favorite. Um, uh, my aunt told me that his he loved uh, Red Fox as well. But anyway, what's going on, everybody? Um, what's up, everybody? This your boy Rufus. This your boy Red. I am the host of the Arch Three Show. Welcome to today's broadcast. My mother told me all of that as well. But um, uh. Thank y'all so much for joining us. Joining us, me and the co-host. So, if you want, uh, if you should, well, of course, if you're listening to me, you are part of our, uh, uh, the Arch 3 Show family. But, if you don't know anybody who's not a part of the Arch 3 Show family, tell them to be a part of the family and to be, you know, to, you know, hey, look, to get, well, I just, I always say free tickets to be a part of the listening audience. Um, tell them to, uh, join you. Every Monday through Friday from 6 to 7. Um, to go on the Arts 3 Show page and click on Listen Live. Uh, wherever you're at. You know, wherever you're at. If you are at our flagship station over internationally. You can turn the dial on the uh, terrestrial radio station to Gospel 107.1. Or if you are here in the States, you cannot do that, turn it on the dial, but you can go to uh, my website or you can go to the flagship station's website. Or you can um, listen um, on the podcast platform, um, you know, however you choose. Or you can just go to the rh3show.com and, you know, subscribe and listen. And if you cannot listen live during um the hour you can always if you can always if you miss any day monday through friday from six to seven you can always uh subscribe to us on our on our podcast platform and um if you on um itunes iheart radio um amazon uh, music just search the RH three show and listen to us. You can go back and y'all, we are almost at six hundred podcast um episodes. Six hundred podcast episodes. We're actually on number five hundred and ninety two podcast episodes. So by next week. I believe, yeah, by next week. So, Friday, we will be on what? Let me see. We're on, we'll are we be on 93 tomorrow. 94 on Friday. Okay, that's 94. Okay, 94, 95, 96, 7, 98, 99. So, we'll be on 600 podcast episodes on November the 7th, we'll be on the 600th podcast episode on November the 7th, and so, um, yeah, kudos to us, 600 podcast episodes, now, now, radio episodes, I don't, we, that's, we are, we surpassed that, we surpassed that, so 600 podcast episodes on November the 7th. So, yes. Um, yeah. And we've been on podcasts for, I think, since, um, what? Who? I don't know. We've been on podcasts for, what, about maybe, let's see here. 
uh, let's see here, y y'all. This is just a introduction, and we ain't even gotten into our. I ain't even. Well, the introduction told y'all what today's show gonna be about, but um, uh, we've been on podcast maybe since what 2017 or what have you. But yeah, we've been yeah. 600 episodes but anyway let's uh continue on but we'll be on six we have our 600 podcast episode on november 7th and that's that's my day of selling uh treating myself out because i told y'all every um the day that you're born on each month celebrate that day of yourself and i try to do that each and every month because i was born on april the 7th and so i try to every seventh of each month to celebrate myself and that is a self-care that i do for myself so you know i try to tell my listeners look every day that you're born on every every day well the day that you're born on each month on that day Take a self-care day or celebrate yourself because you celebrate everybody else, you know, whatever, each and every day. Take that time out. So I like, say like if you were born on February the 23rd or February the 15th or whatever, each 15th or each 23rd of each month, take time out for yourself or whatever. And so that's just for the new people that's listening. But anyway, um, yeah, so if you should miss a day, you're going to miss a lot. But each and every day after the show, about around 8.30-ish, the show that aired will be on the podcast platforms. But I would love for y'all to listen to us live every Monday through Friday. And, um, you know, listen to us live. And you can either go to my website or go to the flagship station website and then just li listen live. And whether you go to my website or not, that will redirect you to... Um, the links that is um generated from the flagship station website and so yeah thank y'all so much for joining us on today we got a great show planned for you uh we are here for our part three of our family foundational strength y'all i do not have my glasses on so everything is blurry but um <laughs> family foundational strength series and we're you know really directing to the husband and and, and i'll give you all a i told y'all this on yesterday everything that you know i'm speaking on today and even yesterday when i talked about 15 uh ways to strengthen your marriage all of this and everything i'm talking about is downloaded and you know wisdom knowledge and understanding give to encourage you know those that were married give to encourage like today the husbands like tomorrow you know give to encourage the wife have i been married no but i am a um uh, a licensed minister and you know the Lord gave me, you know, this the, this series to speak on and to encourage my audience listeners. So, hey, I'm going to do what I need to do. And what? What? You know, hey, you know, do what I do and keep it moving. So, you know, I'm doing that on today. Giving my notes and giving my wisdom and giving the material that I found, you know, on respected websites and all of that. And I, you know, whatever, give my sound uh, commentary, wisdom, knowledge, and all of that that the Lord gave me to encourage families and to help strengthen families that, you know, that are broken and need to come together or whatever, and to help out and help push because we're in an age and a, in a, in a time to where households, is, households are broken, households are, you know, not together, and we need to, you know, come back and get ourselves together and, and mend and, you know, whatever. And I forgot to say this on yesterday because I do remember writing it in my uh, planner, uh, my show planner, that, you know, of course, in the commercial, you know, sometime played throughout, you know, the flagship stations that the show air on, I always say, you know, it, it takes, um, I meant to say that, not yesterday, I meant to say it Monday, when I say, you know, um, strong, strong families, uh, make strong, commu strong homes straight, make strong communities, strong communities make strong cities, strong cities make strong, um, 
states strong states make strong um you know strong countries strong countries make strong worlds and all of that and so in order to do all of that outside your home you got to strengthen your home and so that's why you know this series come together we cannot have a strong community if your house is broken you can't you really can't if your home is broken or whatever and everything else inside your home and you try to go out and encourage somebody else how can you go out and encourage somebody else and your house tow up that 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 right there is so backwards and messed up it don't make any type of sense you know and and of of course your heart is all in it you know god bless you and everything else but if everything in your home is running a muck your children is running a muck your your you know whatever and it is so backwards if now don't get me wrong you can try if you've tried your very best to do that and try and you put everything in the hands of the lord and you try and and you, you you like the songs and 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 you've done all that you can do to stand and done all that you can do to help all of that and you put everything in the Lord. I can see all of that. But if you haven't done what you need to do to help put your family back together, then you cannot go out and try to do what you need to do in the community. You know. But if your household is running amok and not trying to say your household is perfect because there are there are and will be times to where, you know, you're going to bump heads in your house. Of course, absolutely. Almost certainly. Almost certainly. And even when that time, you may have to pull back and say, okay, now give me a time to where, okay, I just cut a fool in my house the other day. Give me a time to pray and go before the Lord. Give me time to fast and get myself together because I just blessed my son out. I just, you know, me and my wife or, you know, fellas or me and my husband, ladies, just had a disagreement and I said something that I shouldn't be saying. Give me a time to, you know, work this thing out and you know whatever then i'll be back or let's you know let's skip this session if you're mentoring somebody let's skip this session and let me work on something because i can't pour out to you and my life is running a mess you can't do that okay and then that's i'm saying all of this to give a it should be a prerequisite but you know hey and like i always say if you're new to the show I may be the executive producer, but we got a chief executive producer. Uh, and I'm bold enough to say the chief executive producer is the Holy Spirit and, you know, whatever. And, you know, look, I thought, I, if you hear me say I thought I saw something moving, then that's the Holy Spirit telling me, look, look, just say this and keep it going. And so, look, if I say something, look, hey, that's when the Lord pouring down, you know, you know, downloading something to me to say and, you know, whatever. But all of this should be have said Monday when we started the series, but it's just the right time at the right moment. And so, look, hey, he telling me to say this, you know, whatever. And it's good because, thank you, Lord. Um, It's the middle of this series. It's the midweek. And so, hey, it's the right time to say whatever. But, um, yeah, that's all just what this family foundational uh stream series is all about but um yeah we got the husband part on today just the courage and we also got a kitchen table talk where um of course we are in our holiday season where it's back to back this month we got halloween next month we got thanksgiving and then december we have uh christmas and so this month we have holiday alternatives where we're going to be speaking on Halloween or coming up on Halloween. Listen, y'all. Listen. Don't be so 
bent out of shape to where, oh, you know, of course, Halloween is all about spooky, scary monsters and gore, you know, whatever. But don't take all of that away from your children. Yes, we bind in the devil. And of course, you know, what have you. Take all that scary stuff away. Take it. Don't put it in your house. Don't do this, that, and the third. But don't rob your children of their childhood. Don't rob your children of the fun that you had. Replace it. Have trunk or treat. Have hallelujah celebrations. Have, you know, carnivals. Wow. Uh, everybody else is worshiping, doing all that fun, gory stuff, or what have you. Replace it and give your children alternatives. Let them have fun stuff too. Let them have fun stuff too, and let them allow them to have fun and allow them to, you know, uh, you know, whatever. And so, whenever they grow up and say, "Okay, I understand why Mama and Daddy allowed us to have fun." Or whatever and, and 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 whenever they do have the fun or whatever give them the meaning and the reason behind it don't let them you know walk around and be uppity or think they're better than somebody but allow them to know okay why you know why my friends or whatever is you know celebrating this that and the third you know why people are worshiping this that and the third and, and witches and warlocks and voodoo and behavior and all of that um, we, mama and my mama, my daddy, my neighborhood, our friends or whatever, we did this, that, and the third, but we still had fun, have fun. We didn't get candy from just any and everybody. We made sure we had fun and, you know, whatever. Give us alternatives. And so during our kitchen table talk, we're going to, um, uh, talk about, uh, holiday alternatives part two and so we had another alternative um discussion about two weeks ago and so we're going to continue on that and i already got my list pulled up and also nina tell is here for her gospel news and so that's coming up uh after i finish running my chops and uh yeah so we're going to continue on here's nina tell oh 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 (laughs) listen I'm going to tell y'all something. I have to apologize because as soon as I got off the air, um, I got disciplined by the Holy Spirit yesterday. I got disciplined. I need to apologize before I go into the show. Um, I <laughs> Let me see. I, 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 let me see who sing this song. Let me see who sing this song because as soon as I said I got disciplined, uh, this song came up in my uh, uh, um, uh, came up in my spirit. Hold on, Anita Baker. I apologize. Believe me, I do. I apologize. Uh, hold on. Let me finish getting the words right. Um, uh, I it, it goes like this: I apologize, believe me, I do. I apologize, oh, honest and true, because I know I was wrong. So I'm singing you this. Yes, I apologize. Um, the Lord, and I told y'all from the very beginning, I need to hear it and move on. I told y'all from the very beginning of this season, it's going to be a season of being humble. It's going to be a very humbling experience. I didn't know how humbling it is, and it was, but the Lord is showing me each and every day. Do you hear me? And so, I think it's, it, the Lord is showing me, look. In order for you to elevate, in order for this show to elevate, you got to operate on excellence. You got to operate on being humble and doing what you got to do, you know, whatever. In order for me to give an excellent show and, and, you know, promises made and the introduction, you know, of course, y'all heard the introduction after the prayer. And I tell y'all about, you know, all of that because, you know, I got each and every day we get new people. But that introduction after the prayer and all of that, even during promotions on social media and on the website and all of that, um, 
it's direction. You know, direction and all of that. I'm directed, you know, whatever. I, in order for me, of course, I understand, you know, the movement, the move of the Holy Spirit. And I understand, you know, sometimes we run out of time. But I cannot, um, I cannot promote a show or promise a show and direct the show and say one thing and not do the other. And so I apologize personally and, you know, what have you and not, you know, produce or not, you know, give whatever. I know we, I understand running out of time, this, that, and the third, but in directing or whatever, if I, you know, like yesterday, um, I was, after I, uh, got off air, I did not give what I promised in the introduction and in promo on social media, because that, that, the, the holiday alternatives was supposed to be given yesterday. I could have omitted a song and put the holiday alternatives in the show yesterday, because we could have had audience members list, awaiting for that. And so that's my apology on that. And, you know, I do apologize for that, promoting, you know, whatever. So we're going to work on that. We understand, you know, conversations, you know, in regards to, um, you know, discussions. But the other extras can be eliminated to put in information to put in other segments to put in conversations that have been promoted and have been um uh mentioned you know whatever so the lord was like okay you promised to put this on the show people came to listen people were waiting but you didn't deliver and so my apologies to my listeners or what have you and I we working on it. So hey, uh, you know, we're gonna continue on and make this show great because we going somewhere. And when I say we, not only just me and the team, just me and the listeners, because when we elevate, we all elevate. Me, the listeners and all of that. So my apologies to that. And so and also I forgot to mention that we do have our scripture um, of the week, our scripture reading of the week. It has been on the website. It has been on um, social media, but I forgot to mention that. It is Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6, and in the NIV version, it is, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you, and he will never leave you nor forsake you you be strong and courageous and do not be afraid or terrified because of them right and so that is that and so here's nina taylor with this week in gospel news and i just have one do i have two i think i just have one but i have one news report to continue and then we're going to go on with after um um my commentary well i'm gonna go ahead with my one and then nina taylor gonna go on and then we're going to move right along with today's show after uh nina taylor just a brief commercial and then we're going to move on with our real talk with rufus discussion with um our part three of the family foundational strength series uh part three and it is going to be the husband and what uh he can do to help strengthen you know um you know his his family his household i more of the arch three show is coming up next the gospel news with nina is coming up next on the rh3 show if you're not tuning in to the rh3 show weekly here's what you've missed don't listen to your body listen to your heart first and then listen to your mind your heart is gonna tell you and then you're gonna redirect no listen to your heart and then listen to your soul and your spirit listen to your heart why because your heart of course is gonna is gonna naturally come to you like oh she looks good or ladies oh he looks fine or whatever naturally that all comes naturally 
that all comes naturally and so once you see that okay then go to your spirit pray whatever and say okay lord is you think he might be the right one for me da 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 da, da. should i go ahead and talk to him you know yeah Join me from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For more about me or the broadcast, visit my website at thers3show.com. Gotta catch up on the news regarding politics, or if you want to know news about the TV, movies, sports, and or the music industry, be it if it's in gospel or any other entertainment genre, well, it is time for the Inside Scoop of the Rufus. Right here on the RH3 Show. We are in our Inside Scoop with Rufus News. And this is where we give our honest, our unscripted opinion on uh, world and entertainment news. And so I'm here to um, give my portion of the Inside Scoop with Rufus News. And so... um, I just only have one news report, um, uh, well, two. Y'all, uh, heard on Monday, I gave a a brief, um, news report on Leslie Jordan and, um, uh, told y'all about his, uh, sudden passing when he had crashed into a building because of a, um, he had a medical issue, but it has been reported that he has suffered from shortness of breath prior to his death. And so, according to TMZ, as well as um, Love B. Scott, that uh, closest uh, sources close to the American Horror Story star told TMZ that Jordan was feeling unwell for three weeks and was scheduled to see his doctor within the next week. Uh, to determine if he was suffering from any underlying condition and it was suspected that Jordan suffered a medical emergency before crashing into his car uh, crashing his car into the side of a building in Hollywood and he was just 67 and you know it was um, said that like I said he suffered from the shortness of breath prior to his death and um, lastly I'm not going to spend anything else on uh, the news report but what I did have in my news report was uh, Fred Hammond um, I, I forgot who he was speaking to but on a just a brief out of the air uh, question somebody was talking to him and um, they asked him asked him when is commission I'm um, going to be doing an interview, I mean, not interview, but another album. Um, I think they asked him about tour or new music or what have you. And so he just out of the blue said that, um, according to him and, you know, his involvement that he, you know, has done, is done and, you know, he's not in the group no more. And he had, just, you know, within the last few days, or, you know, weeks or whatever that, you know, he said, um, this is not word for word, but he just came out and said that he is not in the group no more and he tried and you know just that and the third and so um he's not a part of the commission group and if you all um are old enough to know and old enough to remember him and you know in that group legendary legendary gospel group commissioned and it was him and um a few more i forgot who else was a part of that group but um great legendary group great legendary group tomorrow um if i have time closer to the end of the show when we're closing out i'll play one of my favorite uh fred hammond songs but if not tomorrow i'll try to squeeze one of them in there but i love i it was one song i i'm gonna tell y'all i used to be <laughs> that song the way that song played um, I just, you know, had an eerie feeling about it, but I loved that song. I love that song, but I, 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 I really like that group. But I, as an adult, I just loved, I love that song. But growing up, I just was, was that song as a child gave me an eerie feeling about it. But now I just feel, I feel it. 
I feel that song. I love it. But anyway, here's Nina Taylor with This Week in Gospel News. We're going to continue on with more of the Arts 3 show after Nina Taylor. We're going to take a small commercial break, and then we're going to continue on with the Real Talk with Rufus News. I mean, <laughs> the Real Talk with Rufus segment with our uh, Family Foundational Strength Series Part uh, three, and we're going to continue on with today's broadcast. I hope y'all have been enjoying the show so far. And, uh, hey, keep it where you got it. More of the Arch 3 show is coming up next. Hello, Nina Taylor. What's going on with you on today? Hi, everybody. I'm Nina Taylor. Here's your gospel news for this week. Roxanne Robinson is an anointed recording worship leader and songwriter. She is the recipient of a Canadian Glass Award. She's presently one of the main worship leaders under the ministry of the Administrative Overseer of Eastern Canada, Bishop Lennox Walker at Praise Cathedral Worship Center. This powerhouse wears many hats. Award-winning recording gospel artist, entrepreneur, hairstylist, custom cake designer, but first and foremost, she is a servant. Roxanne has graced the stage with the likes of Shirley Caesar, James Fortune, Kevin Downswell, Judith Gale, and many others. Her story speaks for itself that God is truly amazing. Now, if we're talking about Caribbean gospel music, we start certainly have to mention Samuel Midas. He's a 29-year-old Guyanese songwriter, singer, and musician. He's been in the music industry for about seven years. He was born in 1988 to humble beginnings to his parents, Charles and Peggy, who shortly became pastors. By the age of five, he was playing piano, a gift that can only be credited to the Holy Spirit. By the age of 10, he found out that along with his skillful hands, he had a beautiful voice. He immersed himself in music, especially reggae and worship. He had turbulent teenage years. Once involved in a motorcycle accident, miraculously what others thought should have killed him or at least injured him seriously, that was the beginning of his sincere pursuit of Christ. The following year, he recorded his first solo single called Praise You. Later, he joined a group called Cross Carriers. Finally, in 2012, Samuel Midas pursued a solo career, recording his first album entitled Heart to Heart. Later the next year, he began to minister throughout the Caribbean, North America, and even some British territories. In 2014, Samuel recorded the album This Peculiar Journey. 2015, he began to record with major Caribbean gospel artists like Positive, DJ Nicholas, Sherwin Gardner, Jermaine Edwards, and John Yarde. In 2016, his album The Reveal was a major Caribbean success. In 2017, Samuel Midas was suddenly thrust into the forefront with his reggae hit single, Royalty, which swept through the Caribbean and also throughout North America. The song crossed over to secular radio stations as well. In December of 2017, he released Royalty. Chart-topping gospel psalmist, vocalist, songwriter, and philanthropist, Ernest Pugh possesses a five-octave vocal range. His third long player in 2009 entitled Rain On Us spent 76 weeks on the charts peaking at number two. That album also delivered three number one singles. In 2011, Earnestly Yours ran to the top of the charts and stayed there for 10 weeks. 2017's Survive marked a stylish shift as Pew's delivery with his hit single, I Need You to Breathe. Then came the worship anthem, More of You, featuring Kiara Sheard. A year later, he produced the album Unsung Hits, Volume 1. Born in Memphis, Tennessee, by his teens, he was singing with Orlando Draper as a backing vocalist. A tenure that ended when Pew entered the military. Following his discharge, he continued to pursue his musical goals. His first album, Ernest Pew Live, A Worshipper's Perspective, appeared in 2006, followed by Seasons Change a year later in 2007. Rain on Us arrived in 2009 with a fourth album, Earnestly Yours, hitting in 2011. A holiday album, Christmas with Ernest Pew, arrived in 2012, the year that he relocated to Houston, Texas. His next album, W. In Worship in Nassau Experience. He recorded another EP of worship songs in 2014 and the compilation Hidden Treasures and Collaborations in 2015. 
Here's this week's Top 10 Gospel Songs. Number 10, J.J. Harrison, Thankful. 9, Ty Tribbett, New. 8, Dietrich Haddon, Here Comes the Joy. 7, Brian Andrew Wilson, The Ride. 6, Jordan Armstrong and Erica Campbell, Call. 5, Marvin Sapp, All in Your Hands. 4, Doe, When I Pray. 3, Joe Kia, Let Him In. 2, Maverick City Music and Kirk Franklin, Kingdom. And our new number one song comes from Sicardi Cortez with You've Been Good to me. Well, that's your top 10 songs and your gospel news. I'm Nina Taylor. Let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. Here are six daily self-care practices for our Be Positive message for today. Number one, do something that makes you happy. Number two, rest. Number three, connect with someone you love. Four, meditate, reflect, and breathe. Five, go outside and get some fresh air. And number six, get creative. The RH3 Show. For more about the broadcast, please visit the RH3Show.com. This is real life. We show real love and we also have real unjudgmental conversations. All from a Christian male perspective. Not all of them, but just mine. So let's have an open minded conversation. It's the Real Talk with Rufus right here on The Arch 3 Show. As you heard that segment drop, we are in our Real Talk with Rufus segment. And this is where we give our honest, our unscripted opinion um, on... uh, Oh, I just pulled something up on Instagram. We give our uh, real life topic... um, Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Real life... uh, we're in our real talk with Rufus discussion, and this is where I give you my honest, my unscripted opinion on real life topics. And we also have grown folk discussion, grown people, wrong, grown people discussion, and so we are in here discussing about. Um, uh, uh, we are in our. Family Foundation of Strength series, and so this is where, um, you know, y'all heard my introduction on this series, and so we're going to go ahead and um, discuss and talk about, um, you know, the husband portion of building his family, strengthening his family, or what have you, and so first off, uh, men and those who are listening, here are um, and I, you know, I don't even have my book of, uh, and you can go to, uh, I think it, I don't know, I'm just saying think. You can go to my website at www.tlamog.com to order my book. And um, it is www.tlamog.com. And uh, I'll read uh, the back of the book. It says, if we study the Bible clearly and correct, we would see how God wanted to use men like never before use the men on their jobs in their community and most importantly in their homes. The men are also to live the same way in church. God also want the men to take a big role in leadership and to also take a big role as the head of their household. But in today's society, most men aren't living up to what God had initially called them to be. God has called all the men to be a leader in our communities, gentlemen and good husbands, well gentlemen, good husbands, good fathers, good brothers, awesome sons, uh, mighty men of God, etc. He also called us to show his love in our communities and in our homes as well as in church. But again, we are not doing that. And so, um, uh, if we are, then that will help us. Uh, build and strengthen our, you know, families and help build a, you know, a, a strong, uh, 
uh, foundation in our homes. And of course, like I said, we are not perfect. And of course, we, you know, there are times when, fellas, there are times when we will mess up and we will have hiccups along the way. And so if, you know, if you're not all of that, and if you're not what people say a godly man is, which is faithful, a spiritual leader, respectful, a family man, a provider, honest, good communicator, happy, loving, um, all of that, you know, I would say, you know, you have to be loving and a spiritual leader, faithful, and, you know, honest. But everything else, if you're missing at least that and, you know, whatever, and if you're working on it, and if you genuinely have that pure heart, it is okay. And, you know, if you, everybody see that, everybody meaning your house, see you working on it, and y'all have a loving bond or whatever, it is quite all right. But we, we, you, you have to be shown to be working on it, you know, shown to be doing and you know, you if you have a good circle of fellow brothers to, you know, push you on and encourage to, you know, whatever, you know, push, then that will help cultivate, you know, your household to help, you know, get your household in order to say, okay, this is where we're going to start. You know, this is where, you know, use other additives to help grow like here's some miracle grow for the plant to help grow it in addition to water in addition to you know other stuff to put in the soil to help make this plant grow and so in order to help your family grow you can use other additives like a therapist you know friends you know good sound friends you know because other people you know is not good for but other stuff uh, and other resources and other people to help you know help you grow or whatever and so you know you have to strive for all of this it's, it's, that's, that's the word I'm thinking of striving for all of this to help you know grow or whatever and if people see all of that oh brother you good you good if people see you striving and working on it and you get you know all Seven out of the nine that I just said, or eight out of the nine that I just said, or even six out of the nine I just said, you it, it, you on your way, you on your way, and so three uh, keys to build a strong family. Number one, we must have a place of worship to fellowship outside of our household. I had spoken and I had ministered, uh, you know, a few months back. Um, about matter of fact, it was on Father's Day about uh, Jairus and how he did what he had to do to get his daughter healed, and how he left out of his house and went to Jesus and did whatever. But number one, you know, we must have a place of worship and fellowship outside of our home, and in order to serve God effectively, we must obey God and fellowship with other believers. Don't send your family to church. Just take them. Take them. And then when you take them, park your car and get out and go inside. Number two, we must pray for our family. We must pray for and with our family. You know? And number three, we must take time to, you know, eat and converse and have meetings with our family and and like i said on friday we're going to try to um you know come together with working with and um doing some um core values you know listing core values with um our household of course you know and try to do you know examples of family values because there are let's see one two three four six six breakdowns and six categories that our family should have and also a mission statement for your family or whatever we have to have you know spiritual and religious values that's one breakdown character values that's another breakdown social values that's another breakdown civic values that's another breakdown Work values. That's another breakdown in home values. We should have um, we should have six values, family values, 
and then a mission statement for our families. And so, yeah. <clears throat> and then lastly, number three, uh, the third key to building a godly family and to, you know, strengthen it. Take, like I said, I, I already said it, but eating or whatever. And so with your families, ask your children, like, what, you know, is God saying concerning strip, scriptures or, you know, whenever you talking or having, you know, family time with your children or your own Bible study in your household or whatever, you know, when you, you know, having family time or whatever. And so this will help build your own relationship with God and your relationship with your family and your children, all this, that, and the third. And, you know, it, it, it it's very important, you know, as the head of your household, um, that we know the word and live it in front of our family. And also when you get to church, it won't be no fake in the phone, you know, for real, for real. And so if you, you know, your children see you worshiping, praising God, your children won't be sitting back, oh, daddy fake, or oh, mama fake. Like, he over here praising God, but he just cussed us out, you know, before we got to church. Come on. I mean, for real. Not saying that, you know, we, you know, whatever, but live it in front of, you know, whatever. Live it in front of your children. Do it like we praise God at home and, you know, whatever. But still, do all of that. That's your three keys to building a godly family. Um, number, Like I said, number one, uh, must have a place of worship outside your home. Number two, you know, pray with your family. And three, you know, have family meetings, eat together as a family. And, of course, this is uh, 2022. This is not like it was in the older days, but do what you can to to bring it modernly or whatever. Number um the second part in um um uh, of this, you know, topic, three uh f- fellas for your wife and these who are married. Um three uh things to to help, you know, cleave to your wife and to your to your family. Number 1, leave behind leave behind leave behind old um things that uh, that you believe that your parent did because like I said this is 2020 this is 2020 anything that you know that's contrary to God's word you have to do you know away with despite of being you know your parents whatever your parents did you don't have to do that you know look that was old that was then this is now number two Love your wife as your own body. Love your wife as Christ loved the church. If you care for her the same way you do for yourself, this is what strengthen your bond and, you know, keep the connection. And number three, communication is key. Never stop learning. Never stop listening and talking to each other. The more you communicate, the more you will learn and grow together. For real, for real. For real, for real. All right? I and but that's it, fellas. That's it. But you know, continue to strengthen. And and of course, I got more. You know, in the book, go to that website again, t l a m o g dot com, and you know, continue with that learning. It's a great teaching tool, or what have you. Continue to do that. More of the Arts Three Show is coming up next with our kitchen table talk. All right, we got more. Keep it where you got it. I hope you all. I hope that was a nugget to help. Um, continue to strengthen your family, fellas. You know, fellas, it all start with you. It all start with you, and it trickles down. All right, be encouraged. All right, be back with more. The kitchen table talk is coming up next, right here on the RH Three Show. <laughs> Want to connect with me and go beyond the broadcast? Do so by following me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Arts 3 Show. You can also watch us on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash I rep a savior. That's youtube.com forward slash I R E P A S A V I O R. Follow me on social media. Hi, it's The Arts 3 Show. Connect. The RH3 Show. For more about the broadcast, please visit the RH3Show.com. Pull up a chair. Let's have a personal conversation. It's going to be about me, you, and whatever else. It's time for our 
Kitchen Table Talk right here on the RH3 Show. All right, you all, we are in our Kitchen Table Talk segment, and we just got just a few minutes uh, left to give you all our Holiday Alternatives Part 2. And, of course, like I said in the beginning, um, it's just uh, uh, an alternative for this upcoming holiday uh, celebration of those who celebrate Halloween. But, you know, of course, we don't, I don't, well, some of you all don't, um, of course I don't, but anyway, celebrating Halloween. And so here are some, let's see how many is this, one, two, three, six alternatives that you all could do in your household um, in place of uh, Halloween. And so, yeah, and here's what I, you know, have seen done uh, in my family, you know, what we did, you know, back in the day, um, you know, church family do or whatever. But here are some things. What you can do is um, in your household and, you know, in each room, do uh, uh, trick or treat in your house, you know, whatever. Each family or each person in your house, go to a room. And each of y'all do trick or treat and give out candy in the door, or you know, bring in your family members of uh, you know those who live in the house and those who don't. Invite them to a party, and y'all go in each room and do you know whatever. And so that is you know trick or treat or whatever in each house. And then of course y'all um are you know wholesome people and you know don't put in um, any other additives in candy. Give it out as a family. Give it out as a, you know, as y'all partying. Um, turn on your lights and y'all give out candy um, as people come to your door or whatever. Give out treat bags. Um, second thing, have a pumpkin decorating contest that's not uh, scary or whatever in your house or whatever. And all of this while you're giving out candy to other people. People may not... Um, Uh, People may still celebrate it, but you can still give out candy and, you know, just, you know, as you, you know, pray over their safety or whatever, you know, still give out candy because some people, like I said, still may celebrate it themselves. Um, Your church or other churches, um, whatever, may have trunk or treat, hallelujah celebrations, um, uh, harvest celebrations or whatever. Go to your church events that they have. If they still celebrate Halloween, you know what? Uh, You know, if you go, whatever, go. If you don't go, then don't go. But go to a church um, alternative celebration and, you know, celebrate with your church family. They have chunk or treat. Participate. Be a part of... Um, a Christian celebration at your church, you know, your church home. Have cookie cutting uh, decoration parties at your home or whatever. Host neighborhood carnival parties. You know, if they have, um, you know, whatever they do at carnivals, like the uh, milk bottle um, games, the um, beanbag toss, whatever. You be the host because you know what you sell. You know, you know what you uh uh giving away. You know what you having. You know what you serving or whatever. And no candy is not tainted or this, that, and the third. You host it, and you also hosting harvest parties like um bobbing for apples, go um gorge um the gorge bobbing or whatever. Host parties in your backyard and invite some of the neighborhood. You all know what's, you know, being served and what's not being put out or what this, that, and the third. Because people are now putting uh, fentanyl in, 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 in candies and this, that, and the third or whatever. But you all know what's, what's being served and do that. But anyway, that's it. You come up with uh, unique ideas. Pray that God will give you ideas and other things to, um, you know, have alternatives for your children or whatever. And even if your children still go out and trick or treat or whatever and, you know, dress up as Bible characters or what have you, pray over your children. Just let them enjoy their childhood, but give them alternatives because Halloween is, um, uh, uh, is a day of you know of, of 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 evil worship or whatever, but give them their alternative so you know you won't rob them of their 
childhood, but then just let them do it in safety, okay? Please let them do it in safety, and please, you know, give them their alternatives to let them have fun, whether, you know, let them in, you know, just let them be in a, you know, an atmosphere of safety, all right? That's it. That's it. I hope y'all enjoyed today's show. I love you all for real, and I'll see you all next time right here on the Arch 3 Show. Always remember to live every day. Live every day. Laugh every moment. Love God. Love yourself and love other people beyond words. TheArch3Show.com. Y'all, if y'all visit it on your phone, it's in a mobile version. But visit it also on the web. Uh, web uh, visit on your laptop or computer. You can see it a bit better. All right? I love you all for real, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Peace party people, ha <laughs> see you later. Cause I'm saying bye bye. Good night, good night.